Under a Trump administration, no American citizen will ever again feel that their needs come second to the citizens of a foreign country. Next on Newsmax Prime, the Donald announces the Trump doctrine. But was the frontrunner's major address trumped by his closest competitor? Ted Cruz picks a running mate. Is his selection of Carly Fiorina a game changer? And a change for the better tonight. More of your calls, more of your opinions, more freewheeling discussions of the day's events. You are the prime focus as Newsmax Prime starts right now. Good evening and welcome to the Wednesday night edition of Newsmax Prime. I'm J.D. Hayworth. Of prime interest tonight, trying to trump the frontrunner. Here's the way the news day unfolded. First, Donald Trump took center stage in Washington for a major address on foreign policy. I will view as president the world through the clear lens of American interests. I will be America's greatest defender and most loyal champion. We will not apologize for becoming successful again, but will instead embrace the unique heritage that makes us who we are. The world is most peaceful and most prosperous when America is strongest. But then Ted Cruz made a strong bid to steal the spotlight, announcing the choice of his running mate. This was the scene late this afternoon in Indianapolis. After a great deal of consideration and prayer, I have come to the conclusion that if I am nominated to be President of the United States, that I will run on a ticket with my vice presidential nominee, Carly Fiorina. So here is how you can get in on the conversation and let us hear your voice. We will be taking your calls tonight at 1-877-NEWSMAX. That's 1-877-639-7629. Call in to let us know what you think of the team of Cruz and Carly and the frontrunners foray into foreign policy. Do you agree with the Trump doctrine? Call me at 1-877-NEWSMAX. I look forward to speaking to you because here at Newsmax TV, we're not here to tell you what to think. Uh, we're inviting you to call in and share your views with us. For more on these two major stories, let's get the views of our two panelists. First, talk show host, political commentator, and former Libertarian vice presidential nominee, Wayne Allen Root. Wayne in strong support of Donald Trump, Skyping in tonight from Las Vegas, and joining us from Newsmax New York, attorney and political consultant Sam Nunberg. For the record, Sam is in support of Senator Ted Cruz. Thanks to you both for being here on Newsmax Prime. And gentlemen, Carly Fiorina didn't waste any time not only going after Donald Trump, but also Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, they are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> They're both liberal, we know that. But, you know, Hillary Clinton, like so many politicians, Hillary Clinton has made her millions selling access and influence from inside the system. And Donald Trump has made his billions buying people like Hillary Clinton. So, uh, let me ask you first, Wayne Allen Root. It's official now. Ted Cruz teamed up with Carly Fiorina, but it seems at least rhetorically that pair is trying to pair up the front runner and the Democrat front runner. What say you? I say this could be the most ridiculous theater I've ever seen. Donald Trump is winning now by a landslide. He's pulling away in every state, in every poll. We found out as of today, I didn't even realize till today, that he's got the most Republican votes in a primary in modern history. And he's the nominee, he's the presumptive nominee. It's ridiculous that a guy who's way behind and who's losing by landslides in six straight states and who's lost most of the states, most of the primaries, most of the voters and most of the delegates would have the hubris or the chutzpah, as we used to say where I'm from in New York, Jewish neighborhood, the chutzpah to name a VP when you're the loser, not the winner. This is ridiculous. Now, hang on, Wayne. Let me just, because in a campaign, the idea is to win one day at a time. There's no doubt that Donald 
has been getting a lot of media exposure. People are very intrigued. But let me turn to Sam on this as a Cruz supporter. With the announcement yes, today, sir. did Cruz effectively take the spotlight and the buzz away from Mr. Trump and his speech earlier in Washington? Well, it's axiomatic he did. I mean, we're starting off your program tonight talking about it. And I think what we also need to realize is we're heading into 10 states. These 10 states will be very, very good for Ted Cruz, very, very bad for Donald Trump. Mr. Trump's uh, best days could be behind him. And as we look forward, Indiana is a must win for either Donald Trump or Ted Cruz. And I think that with the idea that John Kasich is now moving out resources, it's basically saying give this one to Cruz, that could be 60 delegates that Ted Cruz picks up. You follow that with Nebraska, which then I believe Cruz is going to win. And then we have Montana, South Dakota. We're going to have Washington, Oregon. And then we'll head to California. Now, who's from California? Carly Fiorina. She won a very contested primary when she ran for the Senate. She has a major um, ties, you know, being the CEO of Hewlett Packard. And we now have a ticket and we have to see what Donald will show. If hey, we Sam, get to a contested convention, yes. I, I just, when you were saying who's from California, not to truncate your comments, but the fact is we have a caller right now from California from Sausalito. Steve is on the line. Steve, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Well, thank you very much. Uh, J.D., uh, you are just absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Uh, I'm the president of the Make America Great Again uh, for Donald Trump here in Marin County. I'm calling from Sausalito. The comments that I really think you were looking for, <laughs> J.D., I, I can't hear exactly what you're saying. I'm but... listening to every word you're saying, Steve, so tell us what you've got to say <laughs> but, about well, Trump. Obviously, you're a big supporter. I, I think the greatest boon for Donald is that uh, Cruz picked Fiorino because Silicon Valley ran her out, and she is out. So when uh, Donald Trump gets here to California, he's got a clean slate ahead, and I think he'll do very, very well. Well, let's talk some about that. And Steve, feel free to listen in as we bring back the panel. Steve's making a point, ironically, that, uh, that um, uh, quite frankly, Barbara Boxer made in the senatorial campaign against Carly Fiorina. A lot of layoffs, a lot of tough decisions at Hewlett Packard. And in that Senate race, I got to tell you, Sam, unfortunately for Fiorina, that was hung around her neck. Now, you know Trump he's probably going to use the same type of rhetoric uh, going into California. And Carly had a great uh, counter to him as well. And he's never really been pressed on the fact that he's declared bankruptcy four times for his business. He, remember, he still hasn't released his tax returns. And we also don't know whether or not he's going to self-fund in general. So these are issues which she, can, uh, which she can focus in on. And the other thing I like to say, too, is I worked for Donald when I was there. And I'm quoting the New York Times today. He had some weird issue with her. We can never get him off not talking about her. And what I found out was when she was CEO of Hewlett, Packard, he invited her to be a judge on Apprentice and she refused. And if you look back, he always, you know, had these weird comments about her, was extremely critical. And she really wiped the floor with him in that uh, debate in California in September. Now, and that brings up another issue. Are we going to see another debate? We have, once again, around 500 delegates coming up. Donald says he's the presumptive nominee. That's fine. You know, Donald's performances, frankly, have been subpar. And we haven't been able to have that one-on-one -on -one Yeah, debate. I, and I hear what and, you're, and you know, I appreciate you, Sam, because here's, it's, it's classic from the playbook. When you're behind, do something dramatic, like name your running mate, and then challenge the front runner to debates. And, and I'm not speaking negatively about it. I understand exactly the MO, mm -hmm. but Wayne Allen Root, let me bring you back into this conversation. You see the naming of Ms. Farina today, Fiorina today as Ted's running mate. Uh, I guess trying to put out of everybody's mind the Kasich Cruz alliance of earlier this week. And now here is Sam quite properly saying it's time to debate again. Do you expect Donald to step up and debate Mr. Cruz or Mr. Kasich again in the near future? No, this is all delusional. This is delusion. They're, they're, you're acting as if there's a race. 
there's only one person that could reach 1237 and you got a bunch of little pipsqueaks who are trying to grab at his heels and try and stop him and maybe slow him so he gets to 1230 instead of 1237 and you've got super PACs that are willing to spend hundreds of millions to try and destroy Donald and it backfired. He's only gotten stronger. The reality is look at the last two weeks. Were there problems leading to Wisconsin? Was he headed downhill a little bit? Did people think they found the chink in his armor? Yes. And here he made this massive comeback. It's the reason why when they bring up his business failures, I laugh. Here's a guy that failed a few times, and now he's Wayne, worth 10 billion. Wait. You want that kind of guy as president. Wait, Wayne, I have a question for you. Are we gonna win any of those states in November? Are we gonna win okay. any of these six states that Donald just swept in, the, in November? I will any, will the Republican nominee win any of those? I think Donald in, in November by far, and I'm not saying this now, I wrote a book called The Murder of the Middle Class, Sam, two years ago, and I said what the Republican Party needs is not a boring, dry guy who quotes statistics like Ted Cruz. What it needs is a celebrity, uh, a, an American idol, uh, a reality TV star, an entertainer. All right, gents, under, understand the resume, uh, but let me get back to the phone lines. Uh, <laughs> back out to California. Interesting, we're getting calls from the Golden State. Morrow is on the line. Uh, go right ahead and welcome to Newsmax TV, Morrow. Yeah, hey, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you accepted my call. Hey, I just, uh, you know, I just tuned into this uh, Newsmax last week, and I really like it. Thank hey, you. what I have to say is, uh, you know, they're, they're voting for Trump for a reason. You know, everybody's voting for Trump. It's not just because of Trump's telling the truth and he wants to be the president. Is that people are not naive with all the propaganda that CNN and other uh, news media has put out there. We're not, we're not gullible like we were a long time ago, except in the fact that uh, CBS, NBC, uh, ABC, what have you, is directing us to where they want us to vote. We are free now to vote who we want, and Trump is the man that we want. And we want to thank you for the call, Moro, and also remind everybody, we're not that old mainstream media. We're Newsmax TV, where your thoughts count. Uh, let me get 20 seconds, or actually 15 seconds each from our guys. Sam, first to you, then we'll let Wayne close it out. Very quickly, Sam, your last word. The uh, Cruz Fiorina ticket has been a game changer, and I think what you're going to see next Tuesday is when Cruz uh, and, I guess, Ms. Fiorina sweep that state, and they head into a strong May that we will be heading into a contested Fair enough. Convention. Let me give it to Wayne. Wayne, 10 seconds. Your final thought. It's over. Donald Trump's the winner. It's time for everyone to coalesce around him. He's winning every exit poll. If you saw what they said about him. Voters believe he's the one to turn around the economy. He's a businessman. He's hit over 55% in every state last night. There are no more doubts. They All right, fair enough. Wayne Allen Root, we thank you. Sam, stick around. You stick around, too. More of your calls as we continue.